Welcome back to Arcadia Season 2, everybody, where the goose is officially on the loose. Yeah, Tooth made these banners for me and put them in my mailbox. We got uh, two of these goose banners and we got two of these crown banners from Tooth. So uh, we got to figure out something to do with these, but look how cool these little goose banners are. Oh, they're so good. And we got the crown here, which is uh, of course, because I wear the Vanilla Tweaks crown. You know, you got to look good, right? However, I've got some stuff to do today. I am absolutely addicted to Finders Keepers. Yeah, we hid that little block in here last time with those riddles and it was solved super super quick i think what i want to do is reuse this area i've already got it a bit set up there's these two uh this is the old riddle then we have the new riddle in here uh you just need to do this one present friend and enter that's the only help you're getting you gotta uh figure that out uh but Here's my friend right here, a little lever. And so I'm gonna go ahead and dig out a whole bunch of these. I wanna make it uh, a little bit of a three-part puzzle back here. So I gotta dig out a whole big area back here and then figure out what I wanna do. What do y'all think of Finders Keepers? I've been having a lot of fun building all of these puzzles and traps and all that sort of thing. It's been a whole lot of fun to set all this up. You know, even if they get solved in like, two hours. Well, I've made a pretty sizable hole down here and there's actually two holes. Uh, and if we just go this way a little bit, hold on, we'll probably find it. Yeah, there's another hole right here. So uh, this is actually going to be a three part puzzle. So uh, they're gonna have to do this thing up here with, uh, hold on, camera's going crazy. Uh, we're gonna have to do this thing up here, which is the uh, little riddle puzzle, like I told you earlier. And then down here, there's another puzzle. And then all the way through here, there's a third puzzle down here. So uh, why don't I go ahead and get started building this thing? Because I think it's going to be a little bit easier if I build this thing up and then sort of go through it and show you what's going on. It's all ready. We have, uh, we have our riddles up here, like I said normally. Here's our first riddle, present friend and enter. And so they're gonna have to uh, figure out what that one is, but yeah, there's only one riddle to do this time because uh, there's a little bit more to do later on. And obviously the answer is not sugarcane, but here it goes, it's gonna go through. Oh, so smart. And then here is the second batch. Yes, batch of puzzles. There's multiple like this one. Uh, they're gonna have to figure out these little puzzles and put in the right color combination. So they have to connect blank, blank, blank. Uh, this is not the answer, but here we yeah. go. We put in all four and it lets us into the next room. And then I left this on, but here we go, the most unlucky day of the year. And then we come down the stairs once we finally get uh, figured out those two puzzles. And then down here, we have one more funny number. We're gonna have to figure out what the funny number is and uh, put it in here, the right lights. And then they get let down this corridor into the final puzzle room, which has no instructions, but uh, I hope it's pretty clear because if you're in here and you hit one of these note blocks, I mean, stuff starts moving and lights change. So hopefully uh, they figure out that they got to come down here and press all of these to get some specific pattern of lights. But once they do that, this concrete powder is going to fall away and they will be revealed the block sitting here right ready for them. I better show you how some of the redstone works as well. I've already showed this off previously, so I'm not gonna do it again. It's basically just some item filters. But over here, we have this puzzle, which if we hit this button, it'll open the door. Uh, this is actually the full puzzle, so shh, don't tell anybody. But uh, yeah, if we just turn this one on, it opens the door. And if I fly around in a free cam, I can show you how that works. So uh, yeah, all it does, very simple. It just pushes the thing over and pushes the thing down. It's uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Here you go, see it looking back here. It's uh, yeah, not complicated. And then for the puzzle down here, like I showed earlier, when you click this, it switches the lights of all of them around. And this is also pretty simple too. There's just some one tick shenanigans here that basically just uh, tells this thing comes down and tells it to turn everything else. So pretty simple. And then down here, there's just some redstone lamps or uh, blocks down here. And when all of these get retracted and all of this gets turned off, that's what allows this curtain to fall down. So pretty simple, but uh, pretty elegant, you know, it also makes a very, uh, very satisfying thunk whenever you hit one of these. You know what the funny thing about this whole thing is too? I already have the block. Yeah, I went and got it yesterday off camera and just hit it in some silly spot. And do you want to see, actually, because this is very, very funny. The block 
is actually right. Hold on, where's my camera? It's it's uh it's right there. <laughs> I have to go get the block and move it about five blocks in here. So uh yeah, why don't I go ahead and get that block moved over and I'll let everybody know that they're allowed to come in the cave now because uh, I told them earlier I'm working on this, so please don't come in, but I'll let them know the block is in here, so they gotta come find it now. Alright, the block is hidden. It is up to them if they can find it now or not. All right, it's been a couple days now, and let's see if we actually have made any sales. Let's see if there's any totems. Oh, we did get some totem sales. Oh my god, is that all we got? Okay, I, I expect that there's nothing over here. Okay, what about Angus over here? This is, I would think, be the more money maker. Let's see, anything down here? Oh, three diamonds as well. That's pretty good. Now, there's actually a secret bonus back here, because one gets locked. So, oh my god, look at that. We have... Uh, four from Angus's shop and then a whole bunch from over there. That's so many. How many diamonds do we get total? 16. Oh my god, that is so good. That's, I mean, we've only been here for like two days or something, so that's honestly perfect. We also checked out Percy's shop last time, but we didn't buy anything. This time, I need to buy something. Oh, here's the donkey song. Riding on my donkey through the desert. Anyways, I need to buy some of these discs. Let's see, discs from the barrels are one diamond each. I'm burning through music discs here, doing all these custom music disc shenanigans. So uh, I got to make a quick purchase here. I think I'm just spend six here and just get stocked up with a couple more music discs. And hopefully that ties me over for a little while. Well, we've been playing in this world for almost two months now, and I'm starting to run out of space in here. If we come up here and check this out, I just have, I mean, random stuff all over the place. Look at this chest. What is even going on in here? It is getting completely out of control, and we have got to do something about that. I think instead of adding more chests or downstairs storage, though, I think what we ought to do is go find a pretty place to go start building our main base. I've actually been flying around a bit, and I found a spot out this way a little bit. Here's our shopping district. If we fly out this way, there's actually a spot I have picked out that I think is super cool and I want to check out. Yeah, we have somebody else building right here. There's a bunch of towers. You'll have to find out who that is later. But if we keep going this way, straight over this dark oak, over that way a little bit, we have where my place is going to be. Straight through this little valley and seeing this mountain pop in, this is my area. Basically, this whole lake right here and a little bit of stuff on the outside. So this is where we're going to be basing. Actually, I have a sign over here. I don't remember what I said. What did I say on this sign here? Humble's Lake. Here we go. Yeah, so it's going to be this area. We have these amazing mountains and we have some neighbors too. Like I mentioned, there's someone over there and then we have somebody else over there a little bit too and maybe a couple more people out that way. So we're going to have a bunch of friends over here, which is really nice. Now, obviously, I don't want to give away what I'm doing quite yet because I still have some plans to do out in this middle of the lake, but... Uh, suffice to say, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the middle part of the lake over here, which I'm very excited for. Uh, but before we even get working on that, we got to have a little base of operations. I can't be flying all the way out over back to my little tiny starter house every time. That's just not going to cut it. So uh, we got to build something out here as a little sort of a uh, temp temporary base out here. And this area right here looks absolutely lovely for like a... Uh, I don't know, like a fisherman's hut or something, and there's a lot of space here, so let's see if we can set something up here that has a lot of chests and a lot of storage. All right, there we have our cottage all together. Look at how cute that looks. The roof, oh, the little bright windows there. It's absolutely amazing. It fits in this area so well with the mountain behind it. Oh my gosh. I have a little bit more work to do with uh, the front. We need to do obviously a bunch of terrain and I'm gonna try to bring it down here to like a little dock. And yeah, I just have a temp portal over there. That's uh, a whole bunch of garbage. We don't care about it right now. Oh yes, inside is also a work in progress. Uh, I gotta figure out where I want to put all of these chests in here. Cause remember the whole point is to have a sort of a, a temp storage in here. So I have to figure out how to put as much storage in here as possible before I go and add any more 
uh, like windows or maybe like faux windows. This is on a wall, so probably nothing. But yeah, I got to figure out a little bit more to do before I make it uh, a little bit more homey inside. But I mean, look at that. It looks so cute. And if we play out a little bit more uh, and get it with the mountain backdrop too. Oh, God, it looks so nice. Now, I actually want to give a little bit of a shout out. This is pretty much uh, a design that I modified very heavily from uh, Grayson on Twitter. He's an amazing builder and please check out, there'll be a link in the description for uh, the build he did of his that I uh, based this off of. It's about, I don't know, twice as big. There's amazing uh, custom trees. It's so good, please check it out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me this week. What do you think of this mega base area? I think there's a whole lot of potential with uh, what's gonna go on here in the middle. And we're starting it off right with this little cottage over here. I really like it. But uh, regardless, thanks everybody for made it this far. I hope to catch you next week where we have a huge project. It's gonna be, I'm so excited for next week. But anyway, have a good day wherever you are and I hope to see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>